One of the most important molecules in organic chemistry is the molecule benzene. Now, benzene has a formula, C6H6. Now, because of its kind of smell and the type of smelliness that's attached to a lot of benzene compounds, we call them aromatics. Now, aromatics have, as that constituent, as that main molecule, that benzene ring, C6H6. Now, when you put it together, what does it actually look like? Well, C6H6 could only be done in this fashion, where you have alternating double bonds inside of a ring of six. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six carbons in the ring, and every one of these points would have a hydrogen coming off, because they're carbons, and that makes up the one, two, three, four bonds for every one of those carbons. So now, what would that actually be called? Well, it would be a one, three, five, tri right? Because it's going to be three. So that's three enes, so it's a triene, and it's going to be a one, three, five triene, and so it's going to be a cyclo one, three, five tri. See, it's a really complicated name, so therefore we just call it benzene. So it's going to actually have as a resonance structure instead of the one, three, five, it's going to have two, four, six. So therefore, do you actually have to draw the resonance structure or the structure that exhibits Zwischenstufe in the German? This is what uh, uh, resonance is, yeah? No, you don't have to actually draw that all the time. Scientists just say, man, we, we don't even want to draw this, all these alternating bonds all the time. We don't even want to do that. And we don't want to draw the points on it either to indicate where the hydrogens are. All we want to do is draw a circle in the middle and that indicates benzene. That's great. That's easy. So there's your C6H6. Now, you can actually put branches on a benzene ring. And there's, oh, there's a bazillion of them that you, you can actually do. But once you know how to kind of just put them on properly and name them, it, it all works out just great. For like, for instance, if I put a CH3 group there or anywhere there, that's going to be a methyl on a benzene. That's methyl benzene, right? How about if I put a branch there. Well, that's going to be two methyls, dimethyl on a benzene, dimethyl benzene. By the way, that's also called O-dimethyl benzene. The O stands for ortho, and it's the one-two position. There are three of them that you have to know for organic chemistry for benzene rings that are called di-substituted. There's two substitutions on it. This is the O position. Like, uh, well, ortho, like as an orthodontist, like he, orthodontist will make your teeth closer together, close together, like the one-two position, right? I try. Okay, so what else would there be? Well, you could have the one-two position, and then you could put a group, but that, I'll put a different group on here. I'll put this on there. So now that's an ethyl, right? So that would be a, and it doesn't matter which one you start at, because they're the one and the three, the ethyl could be at the one, or the methyl could be at the one. It doesn't matter. So... This could be a 1-methyl-2-ethyl benzene. Or you could say M-methyl-ethyl benzene. The M stands for meta, M-E-T-A, and that meta is the 1-3 position. Like meta, like metaphor. Because metaphor, the 1 and the 3 equals 4. <laughs> That's very clever. Now, then of course, you could have a di-substituted benzene ring where you would have, oh, look at that, a chlorine and a chlorine at the 1,4 position. And the 1,4 position is designated as para. So this would be called a parachloros. <laughs> or let's say it would be a P dichlorobenzene or paradichlorobenzene. Ooh, that's an interesting name. There's another one coming up later that has a very interesting name, and I'll show that to you with the chlorines and the benzene. Okay, so there's lots of substitutions that you could have on there, and you could do some crazy ones like this, and then somebody says, Name that, and you go, <laughs> but then just remember, uh, list the uh, halogens alphabetically, that's their complexity order, because there's not really any one that's more complex than another. And you would name something like that, since it's one, two, three, four, 
I would say that you would have a 1, 4, di, chloro, but you're going to have before that <laughs> a bromo at the 2, a 2 bromo, and then you're going to have a 3 fluorobenzene because alphabetically B then C, not the D, B then C then F. 2 bromo, 1 4 dichloro, 3 fluorobenzene. Nice, hey? Now the benzene rings can get a little funny on you, so pay attention. This one's not that bad, hey? <clears throat> Here's your benzene ring, and there's a branch. How many carbons long is that branch? Three carbons long, so that's a prop -il, right? So this is going to be propyl benzene. Yeah, no problem there, that's easy. Okay, so what's the next one? Well, well, that's going to be, that's a butyl, butyl benzene. Well, that's not bad. And it would be a butyl benzene if it looked like that, right? But the looks like now, you see, this is what it looks like to me. It looks like we've taken the benzene ring and moved it down one notch into the second carbon on a chain. But if we now say that we've moved the benzene, it's acting like a branch. So, this now has a name where this is the branch and this is going to be the root name. So, yes, this would have been butyl benzene, but because the attachment site now of the benzene is inside of a chain, now this becomes the longest continuous chain and that's the branch. So this is a butane. Yeah, but uh, what, what's this? Well, you would think, okay, well, it's a benzene. So we drop the ene and add YL and it would be benzyl. No, it's not that easy because scientists don't like that. I don't know why. So what they did was they called this branch phenyl. So P-H-E-N-Y-L. Phenyl is the name of a benzene ring when it acts as a branch in the middle of a chain somewhere. So that's phenylbutane. Now all of a sudden you'd have to tell where they are, right? Um, oh, and by, in this one case you wouldn't have because it would only have, could have been, the, benz, the phenol could only have been on the two, right? If you put it here, it still would have been on the second carbon in. So we didn't have to actually put a number in front. Now we do. So where is it? Well, we've got branches on the two and the three. So we're going to say, well, which one's on the one, which one's on the two and which one's on the three? doesn't really matter. So we're going to say that there's a two methyl, uh, uh, and that means that the phenol's on the 3. 2 methyl 3 phenyl butane, or it could have been 3 methyl 2 phenyl butane, it wouldn't have mattered. With that name, we could easily have drawn that structure.